a boss to fight. A boss? Which I one? Sure proselytizer. What region are you in? Rothgar. You're fighting shit in Rothgar? Yeah, man. Why not? I wouldn't spread shit out too much, man. You're gonna end up, like, with, with quests from all over Tamriel. I, I'm trying to deal in, like, one area at a time, you know, do things sort of, uh... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not in order, but like, you know, with, with some sort of pattern. Um, right, let me see. I already logged in to accept my daily quest rewards, but uh, I've got to, I've got to go back to um, uh, uh, Vivek City to do the uh, research stuff. Um, also, uh, I, I was editing the videos that uh, I recorded when we were playing from a few days back and oh. uh, I realized that while we were wandering around looking for uh, raw shoot there was another quest I hadn't seen like it it was there on my screen and I just didn't bother to walk up to it and accept it I thought I'd done every quest in Bardenfell but that quest has nothing to do with the main quest it's a side quest so I have no idea what it's doing there but uh uh, now I want to try and find it again if I can. Um, make up for like walking right by it. Uh, let me see. Where's the nearest way shrine? There's one to my left, but there's also one to my right, and I'm sort of in the centre of them. So I'm going to go to the one to my right. That does. Oh man, this game is just fun. You know, I I, I want to keep going. Like I want to keep doing some uh, quest lines, uh, story quest lines, but I need to I need to decide like how I want to do it because I wanted to stream myself playing through the uh, Vardenfell main quest, um, but I'm not sure how long it's going to take. And uh, it's uh, they they have a different quest marker on them. Okay, so which one, what quest marker is it? The well, one. there's only two types of quest marker. There's the normal grey arrow, and then there's the arrow that looks really strange. It's got like a circle on it or something. Um, oh yeah, I've got one active right now. It's, uh, it's It looks like a diamond. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's like a diamond, but it's got like a smaller diamond-shaped eye on top of it. Yeah, yeah. Th those, are, those are main zone quest. Um, and then quest. basically, like the other ones are just like arrowheads. Um, just any old quest. Yeah, yeah, basically. I think my hope for today is just to reach level 30 and then um, maybe find this quest that I missed in the previous recordings. I need you to help me kill them, fucking Daedra, as well. What Daedra? Oh, the, the ones in uh, that mission from what you were talking about before? Yeah. Okay, I'm slowly working my way back towards this way shrine. Um, all right, well, fair enough, mate. I mean, I'll help you with the with the Daedra. Um, it, it it was uh, it's from the very beginning, isn't it? You walk out and they say the Neen, and there's these guys that want you to go into a tomb to fight Daedra. No, they want you to stop an experiment, and then like you stop the experiment, and loads of Daedra start spawning. And I, yeah, I just got wiped off the board, like, within about three seconds. Was this a boss? Because I remember a boss like that. Possibly a boss. Well, if it's a boss, then no, I can't help you. Even the two of us wouldn't be enough to defeat the boss. Well, no, yeah. it's not, it's not got, like, a fucking different life bar or nothing. It's just, like, a whole bunch of enemies that just come at you at once. Yeah, but that's the thing though, like, that's crowd control, and, uh, and, and even though I can crowd control, like, a few enemies at once, I can't crowd control, like, a bunch of really hard enemies, like, five Daedra. Um. Yeah, exactly, but there'll be, there'll be two of us, so I reckon it'll be fine, it's just, like, on my own, it's fucking, it's bollocks, like. I need to invest more in my ultimates, right? There's there's these abilities called ultimate abilities, which I, I know I've mentioned to you before. And uh, they're like really powerful abilities that use a certain uh, or a special unique power called ultimate to use. And 
I have not been upgrading it as much as I should. Um, I've been I've been sort of refusing to use it unless I'm in boss battles because it's uh, you know it, my the ultimate ability I chose to use is uh, is a sort of um, short range capability. So. It creates an area directly around where I use it, puts a flag in the ground, and around that flag, out to a certain area, uh, it does um, flame damage to any enemy within it. Um, and while you're inside the circle, um, it gives you uh, endurance boost, uh, recovery boost, health and stamina and magicka boost, uh, and, and it makes you incredibly strong for a short amount of time as well, about 20 seconds. So when you activate it, you get some time to really dig in and do some massive damage to enemies. And sometimes if a boss is a bit too difficult or I'm a bit too low on health, I'll like pump it out just to do as much damage as possible uh, while I also yeah. grab a healing potion or whatever. You know, just give myself a little longer to, to beat it. Um, I haven't had to use it that much lately because I've just been so powerful I don't need to. But, um, you know, I should use it more on even basic enemies because if you don't use it, you don't upgrade it. You don't level it up and it doesn't get more powerful. So, I oh, should yeah, use it yeah. more. I mean, my character's see. getting well more powerful already. You know what I mean? So I've got, like, that flurry attack, which just, like, shanks them up, like, five times like, in one press of a button. And then I've, I've morphed it, yeah, so it's got a fucking... It's got this ability where each consecutive hit basically does more and more damage. Yeah, I think I remember that ability. So it's like five five quick hits, yeah. So it's like, you know, you, you, you get your, a couple of flurries in, yeah? so you've got your fucking... Your, all your consecutive hits up, and then you just start, like, normal swinging with the sword, and it, like, it's it does some right damage. Cotton hat of stamina. Absolutely fucking useless. We'll let that research. Okay, that seems to be about it. Um, I'm going to grab my um, daily uh, stable upgrade. And then I'm thinking I'm just going to go try and hunt down this quest that I saw when I was uh, running around looking for jute. Uh, oh wait, no, I need to go to the stable. I also feel like the missions on this are like a decent amount longer than they are on Skyrim as well. Yeah, they they actually are. So let me see. Where were we? I should have better coordinated like uh, on the video and figured out like where I actually was exploring when I saw that quest on my screen, but um. I've deleted the original video now. <laughs> you you have no idea how hard it was to uh, uh, make that watchable. That that whole like hour and a half we were hunting for jute and trying to figure out that jute problem. I didn't I, even know you were recording. Well, I mean, I wasn't technically recording. I just saved clip after like certain intervals, and then you know when it was all said and done, I just took the clips and shoved them together and uh, edited out anything particularly boring and then left the rest so there it is. yeah well you know me I like to I like to record stuff and um, I don't know I feel like we have pretty decent conversations sometimes so sometimes <laughs> sometimes even when we don't though you know I, I, I feel I feel like I should record more Elder Scrolls online it is a really good MMO and I don't want to make, make like a series on it like I did with Fallout 76 where it's like, you know, the entire playthrough from level 1 to level 25. I just want to, you know, whenever I am potentially feel like recording, just record. Um, I fucking hate Fallout 76, man. Well, I heard it got a little better after the Wastelanders update, but I didn't log on to check it out, so I have no fucking so idea. So basically, it's, it's, up, it's upgraded itself to being just shit. <laughs> yeah, it's gone from mega shit to just shit. Isn't it? Who knows? Like, it may even it may I even upgrade. It may even eventually upgrade itself to slightly shit. 
That's what I mean, that's what I always used to say, like, this game would literally have to upgrade itself multiple times before it could even be classed as shit. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's like, it's terrible. I mean, given they added, like, NPCs and all that sort of thing, I suppose the world is a lot more... Well, I don't want to say a lot more, just, a, just you know, slightly more entertaining to explore. There's nothing entertaining about it. It's literally just grind, grind, grind for materials. And there's nothing, like, nothing else going on. Just kill enemies, grind, kill enemies, grind. Build some stuff. Oh, look, someone destroyed some some of my stuff. Build Baby it again. grind on me. And it's like you can't even build the fucking stuff unless you go all the way around that map finding a little notes of paper that teach you how to fucking make the thing. It's, oh, no, no, fuck that. At least, at least there's none of that shit on this. That boy angry. That honestly, like that that game was fucking awful, bro. Well, like I, I said before, I don't like, know why Dodgy fucking sucks its dick so much either. It's a bad game. Well, look at that. Okay. So this is a quest that takes place after another quest I've already done, apparently. And I just didn't know it was a thing. Ashlander Relations. Okay. I have to go all the way up. I have to go all the way to Aldrun to talk to someone. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? What, what are these fucking potions? These, these crown restoration potion things? Uh, okay. So, how best to explain that situation to you? Crown Restoration Potions are a, a very special kind of potion. Um, I don't think you can make them. I'm not sure that there is actually a way to make them in-game. They're a special, like, daily reward-only potion. Um, but the more of them that you get and the more days you play, the, the more of them you get uh, from daily rewards. Like, the other day, I got 50 of them for a single daily reward. Um, yeah, like, I've got a fucking, like... Crown Fortifying Mills, all this sort of stuff. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. So, Crown Fortifying Mills are what I've been using. Crown Fortifying Mills are incredible. They give you tons of extra health, stamina, and uh, uh, magicka for two hours, right? Um, the, the drinks, they give you recovery for two hours, right? So they don't they don't give you more health, magicka, or stamina. They just give you more points in your recovery, which means that your health, stamina, and magicka will recover quicker. Uh, during and after combat, uh, I tend to use the the um, the meals because the meals give me far more uh, to work with for for, for a long time. Um, and plus, you know, with all the daily rewards I've gotten for for the meals, I've got like 16 of them currently, so I'm not like lacking for for meals. You know, plus if you add that up, you know, two hours each, 16, that's 32 hours worth of of, of crown meals. So, and by the time I've got through all of that, I'm going to have earned more in daily rewards. So, there's, you know, it, it's it's just useful to have. Um, it's useful to use, too. You learn, you learn to just sort of use them, like, on a whim. You're just like, ah, oh, you know what, I'm starting, I'm going to play for a couple hours, you know, get a, a crown scroll on the go, you know, 50% more XP, get a crown meal on the go that's two hours uh with extra health magicka and stamina to help me get along so, you know. so basically they're just stat boosts but temporary yeah but they're okay. super well, useful no, it's just like the name of them is misleading you know crown fortifying it's like okay well does this give me some crowns or something no <laughs> what do you think uh, the game's gonna give you shit for free Think it's gonna give you some crowns for free, do you? That's the in-game gut. That's that's the that's the currency, boy. I ain't giving you that shit for free. No way. I've got five hundred for free. Well, yeah, that's just for uh, having the collector's edition thing. You've still got your five hundred. No, I spent it on a uh, starter kit right at the beginning. Because I re obviously, like I said, I realised that I could um, uh, I could get a whole bunch of crowns for way cheaper if I just wait until they go on sale and I mean I am hoping that when the sale does inevitably come in July that I will be able to buy 
the crowns. I mean, I, I am I am literally going to go for the most, right? The the sixty four ninety nine one, right? I'm I'm going for it because I'd, I'd normally spend about that much on a few games every month anyway. So if I just forego all the games and just buy those crowns, that's one month, and I've done like I've I've done it. I've got every single uh, available thing that I can get in the crown store. You know, what I mean, that's that's uh, you know, I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um, but if I, if, you know, I could wait. I could wait until the next sale in like another four or five months. Yeah. Um, I've got plenty enough content to do in this until then. Um, I'll see how I feel when whenever the sale comes, really. Yeah, it is, bro. <clears throat> God, I have to come all the way up to here to talk to this idiot. I was told to seek you out if I want to further aid the Ashlander tribes. Yes, I have been using our time gathered here to urge the other tribes to adapt to make allies. See, I like the way this this game's done, you know what I mean? Like, you can actually complete a mission and then you get, like, a, a, an actual cool item for it. Like, you know what I mean? There's a mission where you can get Sheer Gorath's turban. There's a mission where you can unlock a spider that, like a mechanical spider that follows you around. You know what I mean? They didn't have nothing like that on Fallout 76. Morrowind Grand Adventurer. I just got an achievement, Morrowind Grand Adventurer, and I think it's because I did every single. I think it's because I did every single quest in um, in Morrowind except the zone quests. I think that was it. I think that was the last side quest in the entire like area of Vardenfell. Fuck me, man! I just got some like proper, cool-looking armor for doing that mission. You know? That allow. Oh, okay, I get it. Doing that mission has actually made me like friendly with the Ashlander tribe now, and I can now do the daily reward quests for them. Um, okay, cool, cool. I may do some of those in the future, but I don't give a fuck about them right now. Well, honestly, like, I just did like. A mission, yeah, that was decently handleable by a, a, one person on their own. And I just got, like, an actual proper sick-looking set of armour for doing that. Hmm, good. Let me check my achievements quickly. It was, like, a few thousand, like, resistance higher than the one I was wearing. Well happy. Saviour of Morrowind. Okay. Complete quest, defeat bosses, and explore delves to become the saviour of Morrowind. I have to do the entire zone quest line to get one of those uh, quests done. Champion of Vivek. And uh, and then there's another one which is the Nasholifting Group Event. I have no idea what that is. Nasholifting Nush Group Event. I have no idea when that takes place. Oh, and then there's the Tribunal Preacher, which is you have to read all 36 sermons. And then there's all the Style Master missions. Exploration. What have I not done in Exploration? Daedric Explorer. I haven't found every Daedric Shrine, but I think that's because all the rest of these are to do with uh, the zone quests. They're like main quest related shrines that you can't get into unless you do the main quest line. Forgotten Wastes Conqueror. Oh, you have to defeat all the bosses in the Forgotten Wastes uh, public dungeon. Defeat three of the champions in the Forgotten Waste. Jesus. The Shalfting Conqueror. That's the other public dungeon. You have to defeat the bosses in there. There's the group event. My god. Okay, there's a quests achievement menu here. Complete your first daily quest for Huntsmaster Sorim Nakar in New Armani uh, Razi. 10 daily quests, 30 daily quests. And you get a title clan friend for doing that. So 30 days, basically, of daily quests. Great, cool. Um, complete all seven relic preservation daily quests, uh, quests given by New Armani Razi. Complete I mean, all seven uh, daily hunts. Would you give us a hand killing them dangerously? I mean, now that I've done that um, uh, that quest and I've gotten that achievement, yeah, sure, I've got no problem with that. 
Oh, there's Champion of Vivek. Hand of a Living God, that's part of the Vivek storyline. That one's part of the storyline. And I think that's also part of the storyline. Halls of Fabrication. I haven't done the Halls of Fabrication yet. Um, there's so much to this game. <clears throat> okay. Right, I'm very close to levelling up to 32, so I'm very close to my goal. Um, where should I meet you? Where is this Daedra mission that you've got to do? Um, I'll tell you right now. Just a sec. I can see you there over in Rothgar. It's in... Dubdil Alar Tower. The hell is that? Uh, Telmora. Telmora? Yeah. Telarun. Sage like Mora. Top right of the volcano. Telmora Way Shrine, there it is. I'll meet you there, yeah? Okay. I'm teleporting to Telmora Way Shrine. I'm actually kind of excited to get to level 30, because with level 30 done and dusted, I'm I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hopefully stream the game again. Um, do another stream. And then um, uh, just just blast through the uh, Vardenfell quest line. Um, maybe in one or two streams. That'd be pretty good. See, check this fucking armor I just got, man, for doing, like, a nothing of a mission. Like, I leveled up as well while I was doing it. So, I got a level up and I got a fucking, a decent looking armor. I think you just got lucky there, because gen generally speaking, I've gotten really, like, crappy armor um, that, that doesn't really look that great. So I always use a costume, you know, yeah. just wear it over the top. I'm just waiting for you to spawn in. Also, wait a minute. I think I know what mission you're talking about with the Daedra now. She opens a portal, doesn't she? And she wants you to go through and fight this Daedra guy. No, they come out. They come out? Yeah, look. Can you see my armor? See what I'm on about? Yeah, you've got pretty decent armor. It looks nice. What, the chest plate? Like, it's fucking... Yeah. It looks good. I like the detail on it. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, considering that I'd, the mission weren't that hard. Hmm. Yeah, it's just down here. Just that tower over there. Rosie! Where are you? Rosie! Shut up. Where are you? Come back, Rosie. Come back, Rosie. Yeah. Who the fuck is whining? I don't know. Rosie, come back, Rosie. Oh, what well, gay. Turn the brightness right up on this now, it looks way better. Hmm. It's because that's the point of HDR, it like makes the black like intense black, you know what I mean? I haven't used my fucking uh, slash square move for ages. I might replace it at this point because I've just like, I've outgrown the use for it. I used to go into battle and I used to do this slash move where I press square and my sword would slash to the side, like through an enemy. And uh, I, I just haven't needed to use it in so long because all my other abilities completely outmatch it. So, I don't know. Uh, well, actually, actually, I do use it for bosses. Uh, so that's a lie. Armor's getting upgraded every fucking minute. That's sick, bro. Uh, oh, it's called Dubdil Ala Tower. Yeah. Yeah, I, this is a boss, mate. I don't know if we could take this on, even like the two of us. I remember, uh, I remember struggling with this myself personally.